Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I did the introduction for Isaiah 65, and then I did read the book of Jude, which ties into this book. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read Isaiah 65, and then I'm going to do an another part where I do the commentary on it. I'm trying to keep these under 15 minutes for a reason. So let's read Isaiah chapter 65 verse 1 and then I'll go back and do the commentary in, a, in another part. Verse 1. I am sought of them that asked not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me, unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands, I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good, after their own thoughts. A people who provoked me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificeth in gardens, and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves, and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh. Huh. Doesn't, doesn't look like the uh, Lord likes people that eat swine's flesh. Um, would you like bacon with those eggs? And broth of abominable things is in their vessels. Which say, Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. You ever know people like that? Don't get too close to me, I'm better than you, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills, therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Thus saith the Lord, As a new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so will I do for my servants' sake, that I may not destroy them all. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and mine elect shall inherit it. I always find it interesting that um, when you start talking to Christians, they're like, oh no, uh, well, you know, we're not the elect, we're not the chosen people. Uh, yeah, the you-know-whos, the, the Antichrist over in the Middle East, uh, that uh, it, uh, the word that starts with a J and rhymes with news, uh, yeah, they call them the, the elect, the chosen people, but, oh, God forbid you believe Christians are. Oh, that's a heresy. No, it's whosoever will. Then, you know, they're only consistent in their inconsistency. You know, they really, really, really believe that the antichrists that deny and hate Jesus are his elect, his chosen people. Really. But I'm a heretic because I believe that Christians are God's chosen people. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. What can I tell you? And out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, mine elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, and the valley of Achor a place of the herds to lie down in, for my people that have sought me. But ye that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, 
that prepare a table for that troop and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. God has a chosen people. Believe it. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. Huh. Could that name be Christians? Hmm. Verse 16. That he who blesseth, blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hid from mine eyes. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. Ah, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mine, but be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and a joy in my people, and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed, or accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect, mine elect shall, en shall, shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, the bull, right? And dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, saith the Lord. And preterists will tell you that Everything was fulfilled in 70 A.D. All this prophecy is past. Oh, yeah. Well, do you see the lions eating straw like the bull? Uh, no. Watch David Attenborough on BCC, the British Brainwashing Corporation. Uh, you watch lions eating meat. Yeah, so, I'm sorry. All that prophecy hasn't been fulfilled liars all right let's go back i've got time to do the um thing isaiah 65 verse 1 i am sought of them that ask not for me i am found of them that sought me not i said behold me behold me i unto a nation unto a nation that was not called by my name i have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people that walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts a people that provoketh me to answer continually to my face, that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick. Where is this found? Well, you can read Jeremiah verse 3. You can read from the beginning on your own. I'm just going to read verse 8, Jeremiah 3, 8. And I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, 
I had put her away and given her a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. Why did God divorce Israel? But he didn't divorce Judah. Well, God made a promise to King David of Judah that there would always be a man upon the throne of Judah. And guess what? Christ is from the line of David. He's Christ the king, right? King of kings, Lord of lords. So, what did Israel do? They went into apostasy. Look up King Ahab, king of Israel. That guy was bad news. But his wife Jezebel was even worse. What did they do? They burned incense to the devils. They worshipped the fallen angels and the devil. Uh, God was not happy, so he uh, divorced them. But is that the end of his people? Not by a long shot. Thank God we have a merciful Lord. In Jeremiah 31, 31, we read, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. In the book of Hosea, Verse one, uh, chapter 1 and verse 9. God told Hosea, well, God told Hosea to marry a whore, a pro, uh, a, a, an adulterous woman. Spiritually, I guess he could call it Israel, right? And then he had a kid. Verse Hosea 1 9. Then said God, Call his name Lo am I, for ye are not my people, and I will not be. Your God. But in verse 10, it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Hosea 2 3. And I will sow her unto me in the earth, and I will have mercy upon her, Israel, that had not obtained mercy. And I will say to them which were not my people, Thou art my people, and they shall say, Thou art my God. Is there a New Testament witness? Of course there is. You know me. Romans 9.25 As he saith also in O.C., the Greek rendering of Hosea. I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the day where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. All right, that's the end of Isaiah 65. I've got one more. Uh, Isaiah chapter 66, the end of the series of Isaiah, and the 66th book of Revela uh, the Bible is Revelation, and the book of Isaiah 66 corresponds closely to the book of Revelation, just like the 65th chapter corresponds loosely to the book of Jude. So make sure you hear the commentary on Jude, either before or after this, you know. So all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor belongs to Him. In the name of Jesus, amen.